Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today you join us at True Hockey's HQ here in Gothenburg in Sweden. You guys have been hammering us to create a video on their custom skate range, and that's exactly what we're going to be taking a look at today. Both myself and Tommy are going to be fitted. We're going to show you the full order process, what options you have, how the two different custom skates differ from each other, and of course, we'll be taking a look at reviews of each separate skate and then we're going to be VSing it against other skates that are out there as well. So this is going to be the opening for a lot of videos around the custom skate subject. So jump in and let's take a look at what they offer and more importantly, how many options they have when you order custom skates. Let's go. So now when we have uh, performed a scan with the iPhone, you can either go further on and order, go through the whole, whole order process on, on the phone, or you can, as we did now, uh, send the link to your laptop yeah. and go through it on the laptop. So that's what we do now. So once you click the link, it will show up uh, straight into uh, the Magneto, the order system. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, option you have here is what uh, model of skates you want to go with. So for player skates, we have the Catalyst Pro skate and we have the SVH custom skate. Uh, so the, the biggest difference between those models is that the SVH custom, that's our core uh, custom skates. It's built from, from the scratch. So uh, you, we send in the, the scan, they build a foot mold and they build basically the skates around your, a copy of your foot. With the Cat Pro, that's uh, more of a tailored skate, so you have already a uh, pre-shaped shell that you uh, tailor around your, your foot mold. So uh, um, that's the, the biggest difference between the skates. Yeah. So uh, SVH will be a totally new experience uh, for you. Yeah, uh, I think SVH definitely. Yeah. yeah. So we go through it, customize now on the SVH skate. And then you have multiple different options. With colorways, we don't only go in, in black. Yeah. Uh, but then when it comes to what, uh, what liner you perform, uh, prefer, uh, we have uh, both the hydro foam liner. It's like the one you see in the, in the stock skates, yeah. the, the elite stock skates. Uh, and then for 5-10% uh, of the player, they perform a more uh, black wick uh, liner. That's the, the moisture wicking liner. So it's more of a fabric inside. So the, the difference between these two liners is uh, that the black wicks maybe give you a little bit more of a lock in the heel. But on the other hand, okay. it seeks up all the, the sweat into the boot. So it's, uh, it's a little bit more, uh, it, it's a better durability in the, in the hydro foam. That's why we use it in most of the, of the stock, oh, okay. stock models. So it's it's a little bit of what you perform. What what kind of feel you want into the inside uh, of the boot? I think I'm going to go with the black liner. I really like the, the sort of heel lock in, in skates. Yeah. Especially since I have you know, it's like seven and a half skates. It's like six. <laughs> no, no no seven and a half. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just getting off what the machine said. No 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 the machine's wrong. And I'm, I'm bigger in person. <laughs> Look what you think about now. And then the next uh, uh, options you have is uh, what kind of tongue you prefer. So there's some multiple options. You can have either the pro tongue which, uh, with the uh, uh, lightweight comfort and you have uh, and uh, include some metarsal guard protection in the tongue and, with, and it's a different uh, density of foam inside it. Or you can go with a more traditional uh, felt tongue. And, and with the felt tongue, you can choose if you, if you want uh, extra lace, by, lace bite protection or if you want to go with just a plain uh, felt tongue. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with felt tongue, but I, I block a load of shots. So if I can get a little bit like a tongue with a bit of pattern like down the middle, that would be perfect. Yeah, it's the T guard that we add on the, onto the tongue. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Something that's just got a little bit extra padding, a little bit more solid from, you know, you get hit in the foot. Yeah. So then we go with that, and you can choose if you want the felt to be black or white. Oh, so it's black, a, yeah, black, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back with the boot. Perfect. Then for steel, we have the DLC or black steel. That's uh, by default, yeah. and the best steel that we that we have. Uh, then when it comes to tendon guards, you can choose either between a, a stiff tendon guard, the one that we have used in the past mm. on, on our uh, custom skates. Or you can choose the more flexible tendon guard, the one that we're using in, in all the Cat uh, Catalyst models and also the Catalyst Pro model. 
So that's a little bit more flexible. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to go with the flex tendon. Yeah. It's just a little bit more comfort in my, my opinion. Then you, we have an option to order skates mounted or unmounted if you for some reason want to have another uh, holder on, but uh, we go with, with the mounted yeah. uh, steel and holder in you this don't case. Choice there. Not you don't. No, <laughs> it's no choice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have um, uh, additional uh, add ons to it. You can choose to have an impact protection. It's like in built in shot blocker to the boot in specific uh, spots. Uh, on the outside and inside of the skate. It will make the skate a little bit heavier, but also more protective and also stiffer. Oh, so that's yeah. Definitely, definitely. Then I, I love a stiff boot, so absolutely. Then we'll put yes there. If you have uh, any, any additional uh, sets of tongues or uh, uh, steels, extra steels or, or tendon guards, that's, it's here where you put it in. Uh, also, customization of the tongue. If you want embroidery with your initials or number or whatever you want, you can you can choose to have it either as an embroidery or as a print. I think definitely uh, embroidery. I think it'll just last a little bit longer. I've had I've had printed tongues and it's just yeah. Uh, so uh, what do you like? Uh, just my number, just eighty six. Oh, you can have different things. Eighty six. Yeah. That's pretty it's cool. Three. Uh, should I have TH <coughs> eighty six on one? Yeah, yeah, do that. That okay. would be sick. Oh uh, yeah. So what do we go with right, right boot TH and left boot A6? A HT, you mean? No, bro, TH. Here I thought you were going for HT as in hockey tutorial. No, bro. It's close. It's the wrong way around. It's close. It's, okay. it's close. <laughs> so 86 and TH. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have an, an option for blade customization. So if you want to uh, have your... Uh, your full name you know, etching on the blade. Can I get HT on the blade? I'd love you to. Yeah, okay, I'll get, I'll get HT on the blade for you. There we go. You can have a full hockey tutorial on the blade if you yes, like. Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Branded. You can even send the, the hockey tutorial logo for the added Yeah, we should do that. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, okay, I didn't know you could add the logo. HT logo and the, and the name. I'm just jumping into no. your custom order. No, no, go, no, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, Contact absolutely. Me. All right, we'll do that. And then you can you can choose straight from the factory if you want a specific profiling or a, a sharpening uh, hollow. You can add this uh, to it as well. Uh, yeah, definitely a sharpening. I don't, I don't like profile skates after Chris's bad experience. So what uh, sharpening do you use? Uh, seven sixteenths. So and your standard profile is what was it nine five? The tech was it ten five by nine five? Uh, on uh, custom skates, it's uh, ten uh, five. Okay. Then we have an option for express production. Now we have pretty f fast lead times, but uh, during peak season, that's an option. So you pay a little bit extra, but you get the uh, skates done in within ten business days. Oh, so that's wow. an option if you really need. Uh, yeah, that's quick. Skates fast. That's unbelievable. That's a quick turnaround. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, now we have an uh, option if you, if we have a reorder, for example, if you already done the skates before, uh, you play with the skates uh, many times before, you can order it uh, just by just add this in. You don't have to put in a new scan, but in this case we have a new scan. Then you put in uh, existing true custom skate athlete. You put no, and then the scan is in the background here. So you just simply add to short, and then you have uh, the skate here, and you just, uh, as a retailer, you have your all built to ship to addresses ever and everything. So, yeah. so there's a, there's a couple of questions that uh, the factory they need additional information around your preferred fit of skates, if you have any current issues, etc. So uh, we put in your name here. Uh, an email, this is where we can, if there's two players with the same name, the email will like separate them. So current uh, skate size, it's a seven and a half. Are you sure it's not a six? Maybe? No, it's seven no. and a half, I'm just checking. Shall You're wearing see. true at the moment, yeah. Catalyst 9. Uh, and the, the blade size is then uh, 263. Current holder is a true. Uh, what size of uh, shoes you wear? I wear six in a shoe. <laughs> so that's uh, like 39. Yeah. Yeah. So that gives the information to the factory that how you prefer the, the fit of the skate. So that, 
that tells them that you want some extra space around your, your toes. You don't want the toes to be close to the uh, toe cap. Yeah. So that's a huge difference between uh, players. So that's personal preferences. Uh, and here you have, uh, if there's like uh, any current issues with your feet, you can put in here. Or if you have something else that's not listed, we can put it in this uh, field down here. So if there's any specific. If not, we just skip that. And uh, the next question here is to what uh, preferred fit do you like? And obviously you like a little bit more room. So yeah, then we, we choose the one that's called relaxed fit. So you have either standard, you have the relaxed fit for those who want more space around the foot, and you have the tight fit for those who really, really want the, the skate to be tightened around, around the foot. Does that relate <coughs> to the full volume of the skate, or is it just the length, or is it just the width? It's, it's uh, mainly the length. Okay. Yeah, because you want the skates to be tight, obviously, around the foot. But yeah. it's, it's more about the space around your, your toes. Perfect. I just wanted to clarify. That's, yeah. that, that's epic. Because that's where two different. That's where it differs between uh, players. You can have two players with the exact same size of uh, of uh, feet, but uh, and the, and the custom skates that they will receive is built exactly the same. And one feel it's too big, and the other feel it's too small. So it's that's why it's important to know the the preferences. Got you. So this is uh, it on the next slide. It's just uh, now it says we need to fill in all the built to and ship to addresses, but. Then it's uh, it's all done, so it's, uh, and the factory will get all the information and they will build you your skates. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting a pair of true skates. You know, hopefully I can uh, fix my skate problems at the minute. You know, a bit sore, but hopefully that changes. Yeah, looking forward to it. The SVH True Customs. First of all, I just want to say how fast the turnaround was to putting in my order to getting these skates now. I know the, the Chris hasn't actually released when we went and when we come back, but I think the turnaround date was 10 days, 12 days, if Chris was in to collect the delivery. It's, it's mental. I didn't expect it that quick. No. Obviously, that is based on how busy the factory is, but right now this time of year that's the sort of lead time that you're looking at something between sort of like 10 to 14 days which is which is a joke they're made in winnipeg which is an absolute joke it's crazy i mean just to compare we done another custom video we waited four or five months we can't even remember we almost forgot the skates were coming if we're being honest it was a long time it was a very long time so we are or i am chris is a little bit salty because he's at a mirage yet but i am really really impressed with how fast the turnaround date was and They've smashed it. They have absolutely smashed it. I don't know if you can see, but you can literally see every curve that is in my foot. And the skates, they're not the same. They are shaped completely different to match my feet. So this boot is not the exact same as this boot. This boot isn't the same as this boot. It is literally the same as my foot. So this one will be the complete same to my right foot as this will with the left. They are not the same, they are shaped differently. You can actually see that me and Chris were gobsmacked. Yeah, the, uh, when you look at the bottom of the outsole, you can literally see the curve of the bottom of your foot. You can it see your arch. arch. It's the construction method of these skates is completely different to some of the other co custom options that are out there. They build the skate from the inside out, layer by layer, around a mold of your foot, which is very different to some of the other custom skate construction methods. But we'll do a video on that in a separate Separate video. The reason I, I have not thrown them on today is because you are meant to bake these before you wore, wear them and I've only just got hold of them so we haven't been able to bake them and I didn't want to risk messing them up and them not being comfortable or doing it by the books because I really like these skates. As you can see, I'm in a retail pair of trues right now. So I'm really looking forward to getting these on my feet but I want to do it properly. So that's why I'm not wearing them right now and haven't used them in today's video or today's, yeah, today's video. So, you know, they will be in video shortly. The review's coming. The review is definitely coming. Chris might wait on his, depends, you know, he's a little bit salty, so he might. But, I mean, 
they're just an incredible boot. Let's let's talk about that hat. You're gonna get stick for that hat. Do you know what? They can give me stick for the hat. The hat's very comfortable. I have very long hair, so you know, sometimes it's a bad hair day. Gone from a CCM fanboy to a true fanboy. That's what the comments will read. Most likely, but hey. If it works for me, I'm going to use it. I'm wait, still wait for the review. I'm wait. still wearing CCM. I've got CCM shorts. I've got CCM elbows, CCM gloves over there, and my CCM helmet. So I'm no fanboy. Just if it works and it's comfortable, I'm going to use it. And please understand, it wasn't an easy process to get Tommy into these skates. I had to battle with him to give them time to actually see that they have a different feel, different performance benefits. I will, get, I will give Chris due, uh, credit. You know, I'll give Chris credit. You know, he told me... Give them time, get used to them, bake them. I didn't listen, and then after a little while, I finally gave in, listened, and you know what, he was right. I don't say it often, but Chris was right. They are very comfortable. They are a really, really nice pair of skates. So I'm really looking forward to getting these on my feet, getting them using them back home in league with um, the Everyone Active Raiders, and being able to give you guys a review on how these skates do.